Hey guys, it's Shayna. Happy holidays. Today we are going to be playing in my hair. Going to be showing you how to do not one, not three, not five, but 4.5 super quick and easy holiday hairstyles on my Irresistible Me wig. The best part is each one of these hairstyles takes under 10 minutes to do and they can be done on straight, curly, wavy, or kinky hair. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the first look, we are going to be going super casual for Christmas. And we're just gonna take about a one by one inch part of hair from the very, very front and braid that all the way down. Go ahead and secure it with the rubber band. You wanna make sure that the braid will reach at least to the middle of your head. And then we're gonna pull the braid apart, kind of massage it so that it gets a little bit bigger. And then do the exact same thing on the opposite side. This is one of my favorite hairstyles because it's super quick and super easy. It looks great on Christmas morning when you just rolled out of bed and you need something, you know, so you're not looking all super janky in your holiday pictures. So we're just gonna take those two braids and pull them back, secure them with a rubber band or a bobby pin, and then take the extra pieces and flip them up into the side or you can just leave them hanging down and it's going to end up looking something like this. So the point five hairstyle is this one. You can definitely leave your hair down with the braids down. Super cute. Next we're going to glam it up and go to a vintage holiday party. So I'm going to keep those braids in the front of my hair just because I was playing in my hair and I was lazy. I didn't feel like taking them out. But they actually work for most of the hairstyles, so we're good. I'm going to go ahead and grab my one inch barrel for my curling wand. And I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair, girl. Now keep in mind, since I'm just playing in my hair, my wig is not secured on my head at all. So you might see some lace in the front and you might see it moving around a little bit. Girl, just ignore that for right now because I ain't going nowhere. But please believe if I leave the house, my hair will be done. <laughs> Whenever I'm using my curling wand, I like to go ahead and pin up the curls so that they can cool and I can go ahead and move to the next section. Or you have the option of holding them and scrunching them up until it cools and then releasing it. And you should get the same effect, but you, either way it goes, you wanna make sure that the hair is completely cooled before you release it. Once we get the curls all over our head, I'm just going to go ahead and brush down those flyaways in the middle and grab a headband. I would suggest using a decorative one. I have no clue where mine are because I've been moving stuff around the house. So, you know, we work with what we got. Now we're going to go ahead and loosely tuck the curls into the bands as you see me doing here. I don't really know how to explain it any better than that. Hopefully you can see and understand. Once you get halfway around your head, grab the braid from the front and pull it around. Tuck it into the band. And again, if you have any flyaways that just refuse to cooperate, just put some heat on them and help them lay down. And girl, just ignore me moving that wig over because I told you it's not secured properly. And once we get the wig in place, we're going to go ahead and complete the process on the other side. Then we're going to take that band and kind of move it up. And that should make this amazing looking chignon bun kind of situation, super glam, super formal hairstyle. And then you just want to pin it in place. Once you get it pinned in place, then you kind of want to massage the curls just to kind of make them even on both sides. And here is the final look. Next, we are going to go see some holiday lights. We're going to go take a stroll downtown and look at all the pretty Christmas lights. Using those same two braids because, you know, sometimes that's just how it goes when you're playing in your hair. But again, it makes the hairstyle look amazing. So, we'll keep it. 
So you just want to go ahead and part your hair into two sections. We're just going to go ahead and braid two braids and go ahead and put a rubber band around the ends. If you've seen any of my hair videos, you know I love some good braided hairstyles. Now we're just going to cross the braids over each other at the top of our head and of course grab them bobby pins and secure it in place. And we're going to pretend like this wig is centered, right? Like I said in this video, I just kind of wanted to play around and see what hairstyles I could come up with and hopefully you'll be able to find some inspiration out of them. And for the final hairstyle, which we will be baking some Christmas cookies, girl. And we want to keep our hair out of the way so it doesn't get in the food. We're basically going to make a faux fishtail braid. So you want to pull all of your hair over to one side. Don't ask me what I was doing with that one piece of hair sticking out in the front. We just, we'll talk about that later. So I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. I don't know how to braid a fishtail braid, but I kind of figured out a cheat for it. So, I'm going to share it with you. Pull two strands of hair from the back of your ponytail around to the front. And then you're going to keep them in place with a rubber band. And then you're going to repeat that process until you get to the very end of your hair. Y'all like how I did that? Okay, now we're gonna take that random piece of hair that I left out. I don't suggest you necessarily do that. Um, go ahead and just pull all the hair around to the other side. But I curled it and just kind of put it back behind my head. I didn't really do anything spectacular with it. So that's completely unnecessary. And then I am going to go ahead and make a little swoop bang across the front of my head. And if you need your hair to lay down, go ahead and use a blow dryer. Um, or you can use your curling wand to make that hair lay down. So here is what the braid looks like up close. Go ahead and get our Elsa from Frozen on. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I don't know what you're waiting for. You're going to miss some stuff if you don't. And don't be stingy. Go ahead and share this video with your friends. Tell them to subscribe as well. Let's get this channel to 25,000 subscribers so I can do something special. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.